This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have an awesome tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Trojanizer. Trojanizer is a WinRAR compressor which can combine two files into an SFX executable archive. And upon opening the archive, the payload runs in the background and legitimate apps run in the foreground. This tool is written in Python and was developed by Pedro, who was at Pedro31851511 on Twitter. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. We'll take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to generate an SFX archive to deliver a backdoor using the Trojanizer tool. First, we need to generate the backdoor. Let's check the IP address of the attacker machine. Now, let's generate a Metasploit payload. The P option defines the payload, which is Meterpreter in this case. Similarly, lhost and lport define the IP address and port of the attacker machine on which the backdoor will try to connect. Then the F option defines the output format for the payload. Once our backdoor is ready, we can move forward and run the Trojanizer script. We can observe that the script checks all the dependencies and prompts a pop-up to start the framework. We need to select yes. Next, we need to select Feed the Backdoor and Legitimate Binary. In this case, the legitimate executable is the WinRAR installer. Now we need to provide the name for the malicious SFX archive and also to choose the icon for it. After the tool generates the WinRAR.exe file, we need to share it with the target user using social engineering. Now on the attacker machine, we need to start a Metasploit handler using the Metasploit resources file. Once the user executes the file, the SFX archive will extract and execute both files. On the target machine, we will only see the legitimate WinRAR installer running, but if we switch to the attacker machine, we can observe a meterpreter shell. It is important to note that in a real scenario, we won't name the backdoor file as backdoor so it doesn't raise suspicion after extraction. We can make it look like a DLL or configuration file. We learned in this demo that even opening an SFX archive from an untrusted source can compromise your machine. However, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. Do you have an open source tool that you would like to appear on the show? Then send us the GitHub link at our email address at media at pentesteracademy.com for consideration. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Want to learn about another tool? Then click on any of these videos right over here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos.